Welcome back to another episode of Renovating a Ruin, which started as converting a chicken coop into a one-bedroom rental cottage and now has turned into us planning to move here this summer, renovating the whole farm, including the main villa, the garden, this stone cottage that Guido started renovating before he met me, and eventually the ruins of these pigsties with a view. If you're looking for a quick before and after, this is not a makeover video. Uh, you can watch my bathroom and kitchen makeovers for that. This is a renovation Italian style, showing you the reality of how long things take, which means each week our plans have to change. What have the past two weeks been like for you? Awful. And, Awful? Uh, yeah. The wrong documents and, and permits in every... <laughs> on all the uh, projects that we're doing. And so let's hope we manage to, to achieve and arrive at the end of something. But surely we, we will. As I mentioned last episode, we have had a lot of frustration with the builders being very vague and very Italian and changing their start date every single day including the added complication of not being able to start the project on a Friday because of the pagan superstition in Italy that projects started on a Friday will not succeed. Né di venere né di marte non si sposa e non si parte. Nella cultura dell'antica Roma, i giorni della settimana erano dedicati alle divinità. Il martedì era stato consacrato a Marte, dio della guerra, mentre il venerdì a Venere. Dea dell'amore, ma anche della femminilità lussuriosa e ingannatrice. Ci siamo più tranquilli. Da noi alla macchina? No, no. Salve! Salve! Sì. Riccardo! Riccardo! Ah. Eh, quindi è, è possibile salvare le, le, le pietre, no? Cioè di... Allora, al momento viene fatto tutto un montino, poi verranno separati e al momento si portano anche in scarico. Ah, ok, ok, perfetto. E... <ride> Finally! <ride> This is the beginning, we know where we start, we don't know where we finish, but... Promise me the stones will be saved! Yes, I said in, uh, in old languages that, that saved them, and they will throw down everything and then separate what goes in the in the dump, uh, the scarica. Are you nervous? Well, uh, So I haven't yet shared with you the plans for the bathroom and the bedroom. So, uh, through here, you'll get to the bathroom, which again, I want to have the 
the shower with a, an incredible view outside looking over the, the green because I think, I don't know for me, you guys know, I, <laughs> I care very much about the bathroom as well and I think that if you're standing in the shower and with the possibility to look out through olive uh, trees to the, to the valley, I mean that just makes it so relaxing, doesn't it? No one passes in front of the chicken coop, so technically one can shower with the window open and still have privacy. In the bathroom, I'd like to hand paint the tiles and find a rustic sewn sink, as I've done before in our kitchen and bathroom back in Florence. And then, and then uh, from the bathroom, we move through a corridor on this, on this back wall here uh, to the bedroom. Um, and then I want to put a vintage clawfoot bath in one corner of the bedroom. For me, I mean, I'm, I, just, I just love baths in general, but I also think if a couple is on holiday, it's quite romantic. It's quite, it's quite nice to sort of have the option of the shower, but then have a beautiful vintage clawfoot bath just sitting in a corner. And then one member of the couple can be in the bath. The other can just be lying reading on the bed. But um, obviously from the bed and the bath, there will be another extraordinary view out. It's in the room for rest and love and dreaming. It goes from being something functional, merely to bathe, to an act of decadence, sensuality, relaxation, and perhaps even intimacy. I was thinking how most of my, my favorite love stories on film have uh, moments involving bathing. Robert Redford and Meryl Streep in Out of Africa, uh, Meryl again and Clint Eastwood in Bridges of Madison County, Silvio Muccino e Carolina Crescentini in Parlami d'Amore, Liv Tyler writing poetry and stealing beauty, The English Patient, Pretty Woman, The Dreamers. Letto io lo pensavo di metterlo in questo modo, quindi che, che quando sei a letto guardi fuori la finestra. Certo, certo. Come dicevo prima, qui da questa parte non c'è nessuno, è sì. privato, c'è un campo, ci sarà il pergolato e tutto, quindi eh, c'è tanta privacy perché sì. mh, nessuno viene o passa davanti, non ci sono strade, sì. sentieri, di niente. Objective here, the two main clients is just a, a solitary traveler who wants some peace to recharge and write a book or just recover from a, a bad divorce or whatever, take a break from their stressful life, or a couple uh, who are wanting a romantic getaway and uh, yes, and then... Lovers. Lovers. <laughs> See, my lovers can be any age, huh? Certo. Um, but I think, you know what, that's the thing about Italy is it tends to attract all different ages because they all have in common a love of history, uh, a love of food and a love of uh, slow living, no? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's, let's, slow living, uh, relaxing, sleeping. having, enjoying simple things. And, and When I'm really wanting to recharge, I think the bath is... Is, is fondamentale, no? Ovviamente è più comodo per le tubazioni perché qui c'è il bagno. Sì. Se la vasca, la vasca la metti... Ma me, la metti se la me. metti così, per così, sì. te guardi là. Allora è più bello stare per lì che guardi là. Ma amore, you're still seeing the beautiful church, which isn't a bad view, no? Sì, però già che uno... Sai, passa un tubo, fa un metro in più, un metro in meno il tubo, in questa fase non è un problema. No, no, no. Il problema è, è, farlo, è cambiarlo dopo. Quindi secondo me forse ha più senso metterla di là. Ti dispiace rientrare nell'inquadratura, per favore. Um, so, so yes, but the, but the, so the, the vasca è là. For the, the, <laughs> non è don't you, you don't like the idea of the vasca in the, in the bedroom? Is there anything more sort of sexy than just you're lying in bed and you're watching your lover, be it a male or a female, bathe or you go and join them but even if you're not joining them you're just on the bed relaxing maybe taking a nap reading and they're in the bathtub and then beyond that you see the view that's very it's er no, you need, you romantic need, no? see, see, see. you need a big bathtub to fit both of the lovers in it depends how in love they are if they're very in love they can <laughs> squeeze <huh? laughs> Okay, I'll make a fare for fare for l'acqua che esce. Something that feels historic, you know, that feels like it was a bathtub of, of 200 years ago, no? Yeah, I'm sure you will find one. I, two, you two, know two. I've <laughs> <laughs> già, già <laughs> <laughs> I called him, do you know, I called him yesterday. Sì. And, he, and oh, no, excuse me, no, no, called him. I, 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 I uh, gli ho mandato un messaggio e ho, ho chiesto se la vasca è ancora in vendita, lui mi ha detto sì, sì. E lui sta a Firenze, quindi a quel prezzo 
cioè una, sì, vasca, una, partea, una, va, una sì, vasca di quella, pietra non, 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 sì, non si trova. Sì, ma quella ti occupa mezza, prendiamola, quella se ti serve la metti da un'altra parte, ma secondo sì. me è grande. Sì, sì. Secondo me è meglio una di quelle come, come pensavi all'inizio, insomma, di metallo. Sì, 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 con, uh, con i piedi. Con i piedini, quella occupa meno spazio. Sì, sì. Hello, come va? Even though the project start date was moved back, in the meantime we have been working every single day of the week uh, doing a whole mix of projects and errands. I'm still handwriting letters and uh, sending off olive oil to viewers who support my channel on Patreon. <coughs> and then getting oil all over the bottles and having to wash each one. We've been buying more terracotta pots from that historic place I showed you near Florence and taking them two at a time down to the farm because only two fit in the car. We've been planting hydrangeas uh, along this wall because uh, the family's beautiful church on the property is where we'll be getting married. But for COVID, uh, most of the wedding guests will need to sit outside. So we've been trying to make this wall a bit more beautiful. We have more feet. This time we have a paw of a... Or what do you call it? <laughs> la, a pour, la zampa. La zampa di un leone. Aspetta, sì. uh, questa va girata o no? Perché? No, è, è giusto, eh? No, perché altro non è sotto, vai allontanati, vai a vedere se siamo nel mezzo. We tie down each and every little branch or stem of the rose plants that we planted. And as one lovely lady wrote in the comments, uh, thank you for your advice. Yes, we angled them all so that they were on a horizontal rather than just growing straight up. And a week later, we found our first rose in bloom. The first rose. What is it? Here, here. Look. Eccola. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's the second. There was also one here. No, ma come è possibile? Questo è bianco e questo è... Ah, sì, perché abbiamo... Ah, sì. Look at it. Welcome. No, I, I would just... No? Yes. Yes, but follow me. Come with okay. me. Come with me. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh! Guarda qua. No, look at that. Look up the, the top of it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's all ready for the pergola. <laughs> bellissimo no bellissimo amore guarda oh my gosh we have to make this pedicle ASAP it's just look at it you're just dying to reach on to something our roses have been covered by a gisto so that they don't freeze in the little yeah, cold snap cold, windy <gasps> look amore all the leaves have come out on the, on the fig tree yeah. that was there were no leaves last week Oh, incredible, incredible.
Yeah, okay. Oh, look at also, this is starting. This is just beautiful orange flowers. Okay. Okay. We Let's will get feel, started. Yeah. We, we, we will say with a nice Jaja video, mm. we will say hello to everybody that's emerging Coming for out. spring. Any, any, we, anyone the, here? Is anyone here? I don't know. No, this, this short, probably the two last nights were the last last of winter okay so now really spring is sprung yeah <laughs> it just also wrapped the wisteria here bravo gisto oh, and the grapevine too yeah yeah that's what i mean <laughs> okay Going to the Greek consulate to get the documents needed to legally marry, only to be reminded that perhaps the only nation a little slower at admin than Italy is Greece. So that plan failed and then we had to drive down to Rome to try the Australian consulate, only to find that we're missing another document that can only be obtained in person in Australia, which is not a possibility. So potentially uh, we can't legally marry, but even if we can't marry legally, Hopefully we will be able to have the blessing of the church. Uh, for this, we have been doing a Catholic couples course four nights a week with Guido's family's priest as required by the church uh, and going on a roller coaster of emotions from frustration to spiritual enlightenment to disappointment to divisive debate to total bewilderment. Suffice to say, Guido and I have very united values when it comes to spirituality and humanity. Freshly picked. Today we're having Egisto, Eva, and their daughter Diana over for lunch. Guido is cooking salsicha, t bone steak. Mm. And as the first course, these are the artichokes of the field. Just picked them yesterday, cooked them, chopped them up. Carciofi salsicha. And these just grow down in the garden, yep. the carciofi. And then for dessert, I made an orange and mascarpone cake. Construction finally started today on the wrought iron pergola, and uh, it's going to go underneath the wisteria, which is just waiting for something to grab onto. It's so glorious and in bloom. Unfortunately, these lilac flowers don't uh, last very long, but even after that, there will uh, be lots of uh, greenery and leaves. So we're hoping that the the pergola can give it something to grab onto. Then I went off on a hunt to try and find lemon trees. I got four different quotes from all over Tuscany, uh, most of them around 270, 300 euro. And then we found this secret little place where this guy was selling beautiful lemon trees for only 40 euro, which is much more reasonable price. Deciding where to put the gate. Yes. Dove lo metteresti? Non lo so perché qua sare, il punto migliore sarebbe uno si ferma qui, però non dà noia dietro, insomma. Then we've been applying for a permit for a gate because if we move here we want to have a bit more security and privacy and right now cars can just drive right up to the church. And yes, of course, you need a permit even just to put a little gate on your property because Siamo in Italia, we're in Italy, and so any single change you do to your property needs to be um, sent in a formal application to the council and approved. We've been driving to little places in the middle of nowhere to find secondhand furniture for the chicken coop.
perfect. No. We found this beautiful old rusty gate, which is the perfect size, four meters wide, but unfortunately we can't afford it. So a lot is going on. Next week, I'll be able to show you the finished pergola. And I'll introduce you to a master sculptor named Stefano, who might be making us a stone table to go underneath. I'll introduce you to the team of builders who will be starting work on the chicken coop. And if you want, I can share a few of our wedding preparations, including my dress, which I designed and is being made by Florentine Sarta. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I am really so, so close now to 200,000. And uh, it's all because of you. It's all because of you taking the time to click that little show of support. So a really, really big thank you with all my heart.